So welcome to Javier, a new New England experience that brings uh, the best e-commerce into your in-person shop. I'm Sam. Amanda. Rachel. And we represent Team Isotope. So the problem that we are presented with is how might we improve the experience of buying clothes or shopping. And today we're going to walk you through um, our entire process from problem formulation to current product and even future um, ideas and additions that we add on here. So I want to talk about the, the research process, what we, what we specifically did to, to, to gather our insights. Um, so we, did, we went about it in two ways. One, we went to the internet to kind of get the idea of what, what the commoner um, was thinking when it comes to the shopping experience. So we had a five question survey that was sent out to the internet to get the idea of the commoner. We got about 55 responses there. And then we went to uh, the stores, we went to the province place mall, and we went up and down Fair Street to get the idea of what the extreme user wanted. So we went to individual stores, we went to Hot Topic, Nordstrom, uh, Band store, and we went to different stores to get an idea of an overall idea of what the extreme users who were shopping Monday at 3 p.m. wanted in their shopping experience. So, up here you can see three quotes that I think summarize what these extreme users would like out of the experience. One is that pretty much everyone we were asking is there, uh, what do you prefer, the online shopping experience or the in store shopping experience? And we, went, we kept going through that, and we noticed that. Like, we noticed that there was a disconnect. There was a disconnect between the two, um, and I'll get into that a little bit later. The other, uh, the other aspect um, was that they love when you can find what you need for a good price. 22 of the 67 people that we interviewed, when we asked what would make your shopping uh, experience ideal, said that said something along the lines of price, budget, cheap, one of those words. Uh, and then lastly, um, one of the most interesting anecdotes is we talked to a, a woman from Hot Topic about, um, again, what would make her shopping experience ideal. And she explained how it would be great if I could have someone, a personal assistant, uh, who could talk to me about my body size and what would work well for me. And we wanted to figure out how we could address all three of these in our health plan state. So I want to talk about kind of the integration between the online and in-store experience because we figured of those three pain points that I just talked about that they could all be addressed through this medium. So the online experience, uh, the benefits of that is that you, you have a really nice platform, you could organize your clothes one way or another, you can see the price as you're going, you can see comparable uh, you can see reviews from other people, you can see comparable clothing and all of that. The in-store experience, however, is irreplaceable, right? You have this uh, you have to touch the objects that you're going to put on, you want to see the feel of it, you want to see how you actually look on it, not how a model online looks at it. So as we were developing our how might be statement, we wanted to find a perfectly integrated online and in-store shopping experience. Now I'm going to hand it over to Rachel. So taking what Sam has mentioned from our field research and synthesizing the information, we saw that the fitting room was the best place to integrate our design. Um, you know, it was a bottleneck in the stores, they were normally very busy, and we also saw it as a source of frustration for a lot of customers. So we are excited to introduce Javier, um, which is comprised of not only an organized hanging system, um, it can be integrated into any existing fitting room, it is also um, it is uh, supplemented by a screen that can just be um, easily put into any fitting room. So Sam can go ahead and put a video. On this side, we have Sam, Shopper Sam, um, going into the fitting room, hanging up his clothes. As he hangs up the, his clothes, the system automatically registers what's in the fitting room in his cart. Um, as he tries them on, it looks like he's happy with that shirt, so he hangs it on the um, the yes hanger, and Javier sees that he put it in his I'm sold category. <laughs> he automatically see the total of the tax, so he um, is aware of how much he's spending, and if he's um, looking for any sales, it would also appear on this platform. Um, so as he goes through all of his clothes, it's a very natural fitting room experience, but it's supplemented by the benefits of online shopping. Looks like it's another positive. <laughs> So all the hooks are using RFID technology as he hangs it up. He's happy on the updates. Um, moving to the next item. A bit more snazzy plaid. <laughs> this 
Um, so what's really great about Javier is you can easily call a stylist or a store associate to come help you um, if you're unsure of your selection. So he places it back into his cart. You can click on Call Stylist to get another opinion. In this platform, he sees that there's a red shirt that's actually on sale, so he can request it to be brought right to his dressing room. Um, time to associate Micah brings it to him. <laughs> um, you can try that one on. And what's really great about the Call Stylist platform is you can see not only what's in store, what's potentially online. Um, looks like he's happy with that one. So we move it to the no category. happy shopper. And it adds, automatically adds to his cart. Um, something that the video doesn't show is that in your cart, let's say Sam did want to save the plaid shirt for later, but he didn't have enough money on him, he can automatically send his cart to his email um, to be either bought online or it can come back to the store. And we thought this would be a really great opportunity for businesses to obtain a lot more emails for further marketing um, and learn more about their client base. So through our user testing, um, we were really happy to see that users were very um, excited to use the system. It wasn't in your face, but as you see the interface changing as you interact with the hangers, um, they really liked the, um, the real-time interaction of it all. Tracking spending was a huge plus because personally, I'm always on my phone trying to like, see how much money I'm spending. Seeing it right in front of me is a huge ad. Um, and also co contacting sales associates for another opinion is great. We, did, we do have some things that could be improved, such as wording on the UX and matching it directly to what's on the hooks would be beneficial. Um, also, in, integrating recommendations right on this platform, like if you like this, you might also like this. Um, and changing call stylists, people thought that they were going to be FaceTiming the stylist from the platform, which is not what happened. Uh, so, again, moving in future directions, we realized that not everything is on a hanger. So, integrating how we can do short sales, maybe if there's shelves. Um, that would involve more manipulation of the fitting room, so that we are aware of that issue. Also, sending your I'm sold category directly to the cashier so you don't need to spend time um, waiting in line to buy your, your products. And integrating sales and discounts would also be beneficial. Thank you.